What's up guys, it's me, your boy Steve Ryan here, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a cologne that one of my brothers have, and I don't have, so I just wanted to review it, um, in case some of you guys wanted, to meet, wanted me to review this cologne. This cologne is called Dark Obsession for Men by Calvin Klein. Now with Calvin Klein, I haven't really tried much Calvin Klein. The only two I've tried for Calvin Klein is Calvin Klein uh, One Shock and Eternity. Um, and now Dark Obsession, I have to say I do kind of like the smell. I kind of like it. It's not, it's not a whoa, I love this, or it's not like a whoa, crazy, or it's not even, it's not even a dislike, it's just a like, and in my opinion, I think you can smell the vanilla in there, but it's not as, as, uh, strong as a vanilla as, like, in other clones, like, uh, Ultramal or Euros, it's not that strong, it's very, it's not subtle, it's like, because there's Gurana, I think, Gurana, uh, beans in here, which is basically, Gurana is basically a, something like it's kind of coffee and chocolatey a kind of that's what it gives off it's kind of coffee and a chocolatey vibe pretty much that overtakes the vanilla in this cologne and i think this smells more of like a chocolate vanilla ice cream with a little bit of a suede and kind of that stuff uh so it's like it's manly but also sweet as well. So it's not fully masculine. It's kind of, it's masculine, but has a sweet side to it. So if you're, you know, it's it's a nice uh, mix. And I'm gonna spray it on, on this test strip I have. In the air, it smells uh, pretty light in the air. It doesn't smell as masculine as if you smell it up close. But if it's like in the air, it smells pretty um, aromatic and like kind of sensual. When you smell it up close, it kind of smells dark. So it's definitely very nice in the air and that's why I think. But for me personally, I would wear this during the colder days, maybe the winter and fall days. Because I feel like it's too, it's too strong for a summer kind of scent. Because usually summer scents are like nice and playful, like fruity, citrusy. Yeah, this one's too, it's too strong for a uh, summer scent. So it's a more of a winter and fall, maybe early spring, but that's pretty much the season wise. The longevity is actually very good. I mean, this lasted on me for like nearly 20 hours. I mean, I didn't do much. I, I was just, I was wearing my, um, you know, the shirt that you wear before you go to sleep. You know, I like to wear like a white, just plain white shirt like I am right now. I like to wear a plain white shirt, go to sleep, wake up. If I go out somewhere, I would change my shirt. Basically, I sprayed it on before I slept. And when I slept, I woke up, changed my shirt, went out, came back at like 8 p.m. So it was nearly, it was nearly 24 hours. And I could still smell it on my shirt. Even though my shirt was sitting, it was just, I could still smell it. That's very good uh, longevity and performance. And the projection, I don't know why, but the projection is average. It's not that strong in projection, but the longevity is very good. My overall thoughts, I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. It's not, it's not very versatile and it's not very impressive. But it does the job for you, and yeah, it's about, it's only about like 55, 50 um, dollars uh, on the, on Notino or uh, FragranceNut.com, which are the ones that are linked below. So if you want to try a, a sample of this, I would suggest maybe trying a sample, and also I'll link the notes and the way, the way to buy it in the description below. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Dark Obsession by Calvin Klein. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, click the like button, subscribe for more videos, and peace. And as always, you'll see a clip of the bottle at the end.